So we have somebody weaponizing. We have this incompetent president put somebody in to essentially rig the election, just like they did before. And what this does, it sets a tremendously bad precedent because you look at what's happened with this. Now, if I win, and let's say somebody comes along on the Democrat side and they're looking very strong, I can call my attorney general, I guess. Am I allowed to call him and say, you have to indict him on something. Just find anything. You can indict him for anything you want. Just indict him. And then, for the most part, when you get indicted, you know what you do? Ladies and gentlemen, I have decided to leave office immediately, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I will be spending more time with my family. Do you ever hear that speech? Like hundreds of times. I'm the only one that ever got indicted where my poll numbers went through the roof. What the hell is going on? And as late as last week, he posted on Truth Social, why didn't crooked Joe Biden tell his injustice department to file the lawsuits and indictments against me three years ago instead of right in the middle of my campaign for president? You're setting a bad precedent for yourself, Joe. The same can happen to you. These third world Biden indictments, which should never have been filed, would have been tried and over with years ago. My sleazebag opponent shouldn't be able to do this during my campaign or before the election. Again, Donald Trump is at the same time saying that the purported political prosecutions against him are bad and also teases that if he becomes president, he'll do the same thing to Biden. Truly a man of principle we're dealing with here. In fact, Trump's threats are so evident that Hillary Clinton pointed them out on air just days ago. And so now he is going to, if he were ever near the Oval Office again, find people who have no principles, no conscience, who are totally tied, mm. you know, to his fortunes, literally, mm -hmm. and therefore would do whatever he said. And so the, the wreckage is almost unimaginable. You know, when I was Secretary of State, I used to talk about one and done. And what I meant by that is that people would get legitimately elected, mm -hmm. and then they would try to do away with elections, mm -hmm. and do away with opposition, and do away with a free press. And so all of a sudden, somebody with those tendencies, though dictatorial, authoritarian tendencies, would be like, Oh, okay, we're going to shut this down. We're going to throw these people in jail. And, and they didn't usually telegraph that. Trump is telling us yes. what he yes. intends to right. do. To listen yes. to Take that. him at his word. Yes. The man <laughs> means to throw people in jail who disagree with him. Yeah. Shut down legitimate press right. outlets. Do yeah. what he can to literally undermine the rule of law and our country's values. He will use the military to stop protesters. And of course, once the right heard their favorite boogeyman call out Trump's obvious threats, they lost their collective minds because Trump threatening to go on a retribution tour if he's elected is totally fine, but God forbid someone call him out for it on air. That's apparently the red line for Republicans. And look, I get that Trump wants to blame his prosecutions on Joe Biden because he can't take responsibility for anything he does, but Joe Biden didn't tell anyone to do anything. Remember, it wasn't Biden who indicted Donald Trump. It wasn't a Democrat who indicted Donald Trump. It wasn't any politician who indicted Donald Trump. He was indicted by juries of his peers in four separate jurisdictions on 91 criminal charges based on the evidence presented by prosecutors. And so even though it was him who decided to try and overturn an election, even though it was him who decided to steal documents from the White House, even though it was him who incited a mob to the U.S. Capitol, this is somehow Biden's fault that Trump is being held to account for his behavior. Yeah, no, it makes total sense. What's craziest about blaming the left is that it was the left that tried to stop Trump here. We were all collectively begging and pleading for Trump not to try and overturn the election, for Trump and his acolytes not to interfere in the electoral certification process, for Trump not to meddle with voting machines and state legislators. In fact, the left were the only people who were telling Trump to do the right thing. Had he listened to us, he literally wouldn't be contending with a raft of criminal prosecutions right now. And yet somehow, it's the fault of the only people who are giving him the advice that would have kept him out out of the courtroom. And just one more point on the suggestion that no one can be held to account so long as they're running for office or else it's clearly a way to interfere in their election. Here's the thing, that is why Trump announced his candidacy so early, so that he could always be a candidate and then always have this excuse. From the moment he announced, he decided that he could then immediately turn around and say, whoa, 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 you're only prosecuting me because I'm a candidate for president. I mean, hell, the guy literally could keep running for office forever and then just pretend he's covered by some 
magic force field in perpetuity. The truth is that Trump was already being prosecuted before he announced his candidacy, but announcing his candidacy did afford him that counterargument, and that's what he wanted. This is about the narrative that Trump is the victim of a political prosecution, even though he is not the victim, he is the criminal. And that's the part that he wants you to forget, because manipulation is pretending that everyone else is at fault for your own abusive behavior. The irony being, of course, that Trump is continuing to perpetuate the same lies against his supporters that got him into this mess in the first place. Just like he lied about the 2020 election and used that as a predicate to incite an insurrection against our own government, he is continuing to lie about himself being the victim of a political persecution here. If you're a Trump supporter, you're not in on it, you are quite literally the mark. So look, Trump will continue to whine about his prosecutions, but he's got no one to blame but himself. Joe Biden didn't make him commit crimes, nor did the Democrats make him commit crimes. In fact, the left were the only people whose advice, had he followed it, would have kept him out of the courtroom. But because he hates his own supporters, he will continue to lie to them at every turn, and he will never fail to diffuse responsibility off of himself. Donald Trump is running to lead the party of personal responsibility, now might be a good time to actually take some. Before you go, I need some help. Please subscribe to the channel and do your part to help grow the progressive media ecosystem. I don't do sponsorships or paid ads, I won't ask for money, but just subscribing to this channel goes a really long way and it helps get the message out to more people. The subscribe button is right here on the screen. You can also subscribe to my Spanish language channel, which I made to reach those crucial Spanish speaking voters. That link is on the screen too. And finally, if you want to listen to my audio podcast, you can follow that link as well. Thanks so much for watching.